Hi Pisces, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Pisces. Sun, moon, or rising, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with the Pisces. Maybe the message is just for you, so take it however it resonates with you and your situation. <laughs> Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. Everything that you need to know is located just down below in my description box. So you can check everything out there. And we've got my website link, Instagram handle. I just post more things on quantum physics and crazy things that I play around with over there. So you can jump over there if you would like. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways you've just been here and supported the channel. Let us dive in and see. We'll just do a nice little check-in <laughs> yeah okay so this is mainly talking about the way that you access certain energetic fields right now i don't know why i just said that but okay we're gonna go with it but yes maybe you're overthinking things but you could have something in particular, and it really takes up a lot of your thoughts. But it's getting in the way of you producing magic. And that could be something for you to process right now. Because Mercury is retrograde, so it's going to bring up past situations for you to reevaluate. And so um, don't overthink situations, or don't even overthink the magic. Magic is like a different little realm, but you can... Maybe you'll experience that over this next week as like something kind of magical. That is the best feeling because it makes you believe in the universe again, especially if you've been dealing with challenges or some other situation that you're just like, it's just, it's just time to get out of your head. Not to say that's the easiest thing, but I think that your thinking keeps causing anxiety or it's like both. You have something that triggers anxiety and then it puts you into all this thinking and there's magic all around you like you can create whatever you want. <laughs> You're probably going to be in that process over this next week. And there you are, yes, playing around with energy. Let's see what it's talking about. Because we've got a few... I'm in an awkward position, so please don't judge me. All right. Oh, okay. So it looks like you could be dealing with a person. Oh, that's why. So I feel like this is talking about a person in your life. You could feel disappointed by this person or this kind of like drains you or makes you kind of apathetic. Maybe it's something about this person, their life, their reality. Ooh, this person could have done something hurtful. Wow, look at that combination. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so either this person causes you a lot of anxiety or vice versa. There's that Four of Cups. This could be disappointment because, like, the situation, it's there's nothing good coming out of it. You're either not getting recognition here or this is a person in your environment. This is someone else. Queen of Pentacles reverse could be someone that you know in like a work arena or a family member, like it's something along those lines. And we have the three of swords separating you and this person, and there you are. So this could be really affecting your emotions and causing, like all this is emotional stuff, and you could be feeling like kind of apathetic or unmotivated or I don't know just something about this person in your environment I don't know they must have, I think they hurt you I think they could have done something that felt like a betrayal even though you could have felt like you gave something to this person or you contributed to them in some way and I think that's the issue here so we have the emperor in reverse so that's showing me three people 
And then here's the Nine of Cups, which is super amazing. Let's see. So some of you guys, this could be involving three people. We have the Three of Wands. Straight up. Oh, and it's coming in right up. Okay, OMG. Okay, Pisces, if you've been dealing with this situation that's upset you quite a bit, you could even, it could have even felt like there was something about generosity that was going on here, but there's a person here that might, like Queen of Pentacles reverse, is a multitude of shadow aspects. Number one, it could be someone jealous or possessive of you, possibly greedy, um, maybe gluttonous. I'm it, like, it's so many G words, but I, and it's not to say that this is like, look, people go through their process, but this person, there's some stubbornness and rigidity here. And I feel like that's why it's becoming some kind of emotional drain. We have the King of Pentacles up here. They're straight up. That could be you, since that's coming in in your mind, or it's talking about a particular person that you keep thinking about. They're a good person. Um... Because they're straight up. They could have a lot of integrity. They might own a business. Or this could be also someone else. But it's like a different environment. Or you're like thinking a lot about them. Nice. Seven of Swords is in the reverse. Ooh. Ten of Wands. Ten of Cups in reverse. And two of Wands right there. Okay. Okay. So this week is going to be a very important one. For those of you that resonate with this situation and you're dealing with these particular people in any way, shape, or form, some of you guys, this could be involving a parent or it's a boss because the emperor in reverse is like someone who's sitting in a position of authority. You could be like connected to these people somehow, whatever the dynamic is. So here's what happened. I feel as though you could be looking at a person and thinking that they're very, like, possessive or greedy. And it also could be because of you have something. Because you're in the Nine of Cups. And that might be actually upsetting someone. Dare I say? Because you have another energy that's coming in. And, there, and some of you guys, it's a person or it's like a business opportunity. Whatever that's talking about. Because you could be thinking a lot. If this is a person that you'd ever con had conversations with, it looks like that could be something here that you're going to be thinking about over this next week. And maybe you're experiencing magic in a couple of different ways. I mean, depending on the frequency of these people, I just think in general, you could be understanding magic on a different level, but okay. It's almost like some of you guys have some kind of person or situation. They're not in a good, like it's either a good organization or there's a relationship here where they're not happy and it's not your burden some of you guys could be releasing the emotional burdens of this whole situation if you had kind of felt like um, the fixer, but it affected you. Look how, like, look at the freaking mirroring that's happening just by being entangled with this whole situation. Because you have a couple of pe different people that are off, and this could have been a learning lesson for you. Some of you guys have interacted with this situation multiple times, however many times, but like this could be a same thing over and over again. And now you're just back in that energy again. This could have been all triggered from anxiety and from overthinking that you also pulled into some kind of situation and now you're trying to like elevate your energy or raise your vibration and come into a different like there is a definite thing going to happen keep things to yourself freaking pisces <laughs> but yeah the seven of swords in reverse i want to get a clarification on that because i'm like what 
looks like you're gonna be looking elsewhere because like this situation could be draining you emotionally and we have the two of wands where you're like ready to release all these tens there's a completion happening and you're getting ready to officially let it go because there could be something else that's going to spark your interest over this next week it could be tied to a page of wands there could be something where you're going to hear news of something and it could be all about you and the way that you align your energy over this next week and i feel like when you accomplish it you're going to do well um okay someone this is very funny someone could think that you're not telling the truth or you're holding back the truth there's going to be a moment that comes up like that where you're going to be appearing to be secretive appearing that way this is page of wands they're either a soulmate or you've had some kind of past interaction with them but you could be looking out at something over this next week like something about your energy has really shifted um that looks very good <laughs> that's kind of cracking me up but there you are like walking away oh that flipped and i am going to take it oh sheesh um okay this card landed upside down over here and i'm gonna kind of like cautiously take it all right knight of wands reverse and the reverie card okay so here's what i'm getting as far as the general overview this situation sucks okay it's probably painful it probably hurts and you're probably feeling like it's really affecting your emotions like page of cups reverse can either be someone like emotionally immature or very emotional maybe even moody or whatever it is but if you're dealing with people like this it might be again why do i keep getting this kind of general message for you is that it could be suppressing you or people revert you back into some kind of childlike energy where they treat you like you can't handle more and it's really oppressive like it's actually lowering your emotional energy because like you're capable of more or that's going to be the expansion that comes i would also be a little bit cautious of grasses greener situations okay um definitely take things slow no impulsive moves okay because it looks like this situation is going to feel uncomfortable enough where it's going to make you want to jump into something that seems like a dream but it might be that um you might want to grow where you're in or like that's not for all of you these are always tricky readings to do because like you really just need to know yourself and know your your patterns you know like is this a triggering situation so you're just gonna like do something really um out of the blue and random and it's not the most advised thing right now you can make calculated movements but there also could be something kind of like some situation might come in it does look like a wish fulfillment some of you guys this will be an actual person and if this is a person or a business oriented thing this person could be really excited right now or they're trying to show as being consistent and stable in whatever they're doing because this person could see you as a wish fulfillment in some way either that you guys are going to accomplish something or you could be involved in whatever this king of pentacles is up to so that could be why they're either just kind of chilling in the back of your mind or this is like someone that you've been like considering or they're just on your mind this could be someone that you're thinking about a little bit seven of swords or verse in general just because of eclipses you'll probably be seeing things that were hidden coming to light all over the place um 
And that might also make you start considering some kind of expansion, or it's making something feel accessible to you, like a dream that you always wanted. That could be probably the most important part of this whole reading. So, get out of your thoughts, and then find a way to access your magic and even manifestation skills, because that will probably move you better than you're expecting. Let me dive into the extended Pisces. If you want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see you over there. But Pisces, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. See you in the next reading. Take care.